have some good weather and a little free time. So I'm going to try and use the mountain topper. And that's my voltage regulator, all the wires. I kind of have it laid out here. I'm going to try to get this working with this little tiny compact, easy to put up antenna from Elecraft. And I got my little battery. Uh, we need 12 volts, not 13.8. That's why we have the voltage regulator. And there's my little camera. I'm going to use that for a part of the video. I decided to go with this slightly larger case here. That way I could get everything in it in this antenna. I wouldn't have to take it apart. So I went with the bigger case. It's easier to carry. I'm not trying to be do anything crazy here. So everything I need in here, let's go see if we can get this to work. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I've been on a little break, as you may have noticed. I've been out of it for a while. Two reasons are it's been too hot, too humid, and too buggy the last couple of months. So I thought I'd just take a break take it easy um, get out of the loop but right now I am going to test as I showed you the mountain topper with the tiny little AX1 antenna uh, let's see if it works I'm just curious to see if I can get okay I've got two things working against me an inefficient antenna and a very low power uh, very low power radio with the mountain topper and I'm pretty rusty I haven't done this in a while so right now let's go get some coffee Let's uh, find a good place and if you can look around you see it rained. I don't really want to sit in the rain right now in the water um, Halloween is coming finally the temperature dropped about 15 degrees. It's been 90 92 with extreme humidity lately and just now it dropped down to about 72 ish something like that. So uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better about going outside. I can start wearing shirts like these By the way, I bought this little travel bottle of uh, DEET on Amazon and I'm, I'm glad I had it and I had it in its package and I forgot I couldn't find my big bottle so I'm glad I have this I, I sprayed up my knees just in case I'm not worried about my hair getting bitten but down there uh, I'm wearing shorts I don't want to get bitten so I got my coffee and uh, you kind of see that I've got a problem with this sprinkling rain right now. I don't think there's any, there's nothing big here, so there's no thunder and lightning to worry about, but I prefer not to get some stuff wet. So I'm going to find an easy shelter that can sit and be dry and try to get this done. Okay, so I apologize for the traffic noise, but there's a highway over there. It's raining. I'm, I don't have a whole lot of places I can go. And there's no lightning, so I think I'll be okay. Let's get set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the antenna up first. I got a new notepad. It's uh, it's kind of nice in that it kind of holds itself open in case the wind is blowing. Um, and it has a pocket for pens and stuff. Uh, everything you see here, I'll put a link in the description. All right, so antenna first, and it's gonna get a little wet. I don't like that. I'm gonna do it anyway. This is a camera mount and this antenna 20 meters is where I'm gonna be working today. We'll should screw right onto a normal camera mount. I carry a bag of connectors in case I forget them, which I actually just forgot. I forgot to get the connectors and I had to go back home and get them. How many times am I gonna do that before I learn? So real simple, I've got the, I think that's, I forgot the name of the AT1. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I have it on a camera mount. Got a pretty thick uh, 40, 40 foot cable here. I like to use that cable because it uh, stretches things out and I get it far away. I kind of have it hidden over here behind the tree, just in case I don't want any attention. Police car drives by or something. That is the easiest antenna to put up that I have, that's why I chose it. So I found a second thing I forgot to bring and I'm not gonna go home. I forgot to bring my little speaker for this thing. This is the problem with not making a checklist or something. So I found these little headphones in my car and I'm, you're not gonna be able to hear what I'm doing but I'll put the text out there. Sorry about that guys. But only I'll be able to hear cheap headphones. I'm glad I kept them in my car. Otherwise the whole video would have been ruined. Ruined. All right, positive spirits. Keep my spirits up. Power goes that way. Voltage regulator, 12 volts. 
Uh, the mountain topper is supposed to operate at 12 volts, I think, not 13.8. So it's very important. These are the kinds of things that's very easy to forget. Uh, the wires in between things. So lay everything out beforehand and practice, 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 practice. First thing I'm going to do is call CQ on 14060 and see if I show up on reverse speaker network. These headphones are terrible. All right, now I'm going to check reverse speaker network. Okay, so I think I may have over challenged myself, uh, especially bad with this noise back here. And I'm not hearing anybody. I'm not even hearing anybody. Like there's not even noise or any other. So 20 meters. I'm stuck on 20 meters because of that. That's resonant on 20 meters, and I don't have an antenna tuner for this right now. So I may have overchallenged myself. Um, I have shown up. I showed up <laughs> on Reverse Beacon Network on two different stations at least. VE6JY, which is Canada, at 2 decibels. Then K07SS, which I think is close to me here at seven decibels so somebody here heard me uh two people have heard me at least i know that but uh yeah i the fact that i can't hear anything on here and these things really hurt has uh, hurt my effort here but you know what they say fail often learn a lot i'm gonna keep calling cq on 14068 and i've been bitten by a mosquito also i want you to notice that i i took my antenna and I decided to change it. I put it up here and I'm hoping to maybe maybe get some reflection that way. As soon as I did that, I got another... Uh, I heard somebody else heard me on Reverse Beacon Network. But, you know, it's worth a try. I've got this weak antenna, I've got weak power, and the bands are dead. So, challenge me. I tell you what. Okay, someone else just heard me now. Yet another Canadian station. I kid you not. I kid you not, VE6AO, VE6JY. So four people are hearing me. This is the reverse speaker network at least lets me know I'm getting out. Maybe not very well. So what I've got is three decibels, three decibels, two decibels, and seven decibels. That's really bad, but hey man, we work with what we got. Just keep calling CQ, man. I also put this out on Twitter. So while we're here, let me tell you about this app. There is an app called Ham Alert, and you can actually put all kinds of rules in there for yourself and for other people. So if they start transmitting, you will get an alert. And I've been getting alerts for myself. I think this is it right here. Uh, here, I'm getting alerts. Uh, they come right to your phone. So you don't have to go to the RBN. I think this is linked up to the RBN, but you see K4SFC? I know that he was transmitting at this time. This is a couple days ago, whatever. Then I'm transmitting now. But this, this app called Ham Alert, maybe if you're interested, let me know. And I'll tell you more about that. But it will actually come, all your friends will come to your phone. And you'll know that they're online. Let me know if you want to know more about that. Now, I don't know how good the band conditions are. But if I had had a wire, one of my uh, high-end feds or something, it, this probably, probably would have made a contact by now. Uh, an inefficient antenna with very low wattages. I know, I'm, I know this is very difficult, and I'm, that's why I'm doing it, to find out. Can I make a contact using this setup? So if I go traveling, I'll know, you know, is it likely to make a contact or unlikely? Unlikely. I am hitting the reverse beat could network though, that's good. Okay, so sometimes I do go out and I fail, you know. Uh, had I put up a, a long wire antenna, probably would have made a contact and if I would have brought a better speaker I could have heard better band conditions are bad I'm not worried about it I'm just saying don't worry if you don't make success that's fine what ends up happening when you, when you go out away from your house you learn real fast what to bring and what you forget to bring all right see you later
Dude, you're not going to believe this. So I come from the park, and someone in Missouri hears me on my QRP just now. And I'm driving by, and I'm wondering if this guy, this is a ham radio guy, don't know who he is. He lives less than a mile away from me. I'm wondering if he's the one that heard me. Seriously. But I was looking at this RV right there. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Then I come back over here, and I notice that he has what looks like a G5 RV just like I do up there. I wonder if he watches my videos or knows who I am. I will look it up and see if that's him, but I may have made a contact that was like 100, no, 100 yards away. Seriously. How crazy is that? There are hand people around, and if you have the right kind of eye, you can see it.